So it is neat brickwork as you can see, and, but notice I'm not saying anything about the job, I'm just commenting on the brickwork which is like wallpaper. There might be a reason there is a straight joint up either side there because the pillar in the middle seems to protrude and obviously it was an old garage. Now the pillars on the end this seem, where the brickwork meets it seems to be flush so I don't know what's going on there but I'm just saying the brickwork is neat. Here you have some cowboy fitters. Nice bed of silicon underneath. I think the window was measured wrong looking at that. Good job it's coming out. <laughs> About three tubes there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when they don't know what they're doing. Now this is the last house that I built for Red Row in Preston. And as you can see it's quite a technical one. There's some a preformed arch there and bay windows on the right side both on the ground floor and first floor. There's a garage on the left with like a 45 degree angle up to the roof. And yeah, it was <laughs> a fancy one to build really. All in all, it's a cracking job. And I always said that the person or the family that got that house that bought it have got a house that's been built bang on. And it, well, it gives me job satisfaction. I built it with, there was only three of us. There was me, there was me, a lad, there was me an apprentice bricklayer called Ollie Evans from Preston. He was the best bricky I've ever worked with, really. And a labourer was called Josh. Now, I ended up bailing at the end because Ollie was about to become a father and the, the labourer just, he weren't pulling his weight, really. So I ended up virtually building it and finishing the house on my own, really. So, but yeah, that was an interesting build and definitely job satisfaction on that. But yeah. That was the last time I was on site, really. But I may be back on site soon. Now, here's a creative letterbox.